welcome back in for week six. It's week six, right? Yeah, it's week six of the ATPA. Man, time's really flying, isn't it? Anyway, we've made it through the teeth of the schedule. The unbeaten teams have been beaten. We are the lone unbeaten team now, which means I'm probably going to lose to Hacks. <laughs> anyway, this week we're playing against Big Bud. His team consists of the following mons. He's got Iron Moth, Corviknight, Terra Hydreigon with Dark and Steel typing, uh, Hisuian Lilligant, Rotom Heat, Pawmot, Gardevoir, Gyarados, Hisuian Slagoo, and Murkrow. This is post home at this point. We've since added a bunch of mons to the free agency pool and people got to pick them up via waiver wire and stuff. It was a bit of a complex process. I'm not going to go fully into it, but I didn't make any changes. He made a lot of changes. And thankfully for me, all they're all basically good for my matchup. Because before this, he had an Aqua Tauros. And that would have been really annoying for the Mon on screen right now. But now he doesn't have an Aqua Tauros. And that's really good for me. I think the scariest Mon for me this matchup is definitely the Hydreigon. Because of its Terra Steel typing, it's just really annoying for me to switch into. Skeledurge can't switch into it at all, and I really want to keep Skeledurge out of a Terra type for as long as possible this game. And then my Tox effects can't really do damage to it. And once it's Terra to Steel, my Hatterene can't really deal with it either. I take a lot of damage from Flash Cannons, even without a boosting item. Thankfully, there's mons on here that aren't a threat at all, like Hisui Lilligant. If he brings that thing versus me, I mean, I would, I've would i prepped for it, kind of, but it's a real, I, in my opinion, it's a wasted team slot, because it's just so bad versus my team. And Gyarados can do things, so I've prepped for it, but it's also not amazing. And ho I really hope to see Palmont, to be honest. I really want to punish... Really want to punish the mock punch Palmot taunts from the draft. <laughs> anyway, let's start off with Sabris again. Choice banded again for the second week in a row. But this time we're fully committed to the choice band. We're adamant max attack. And it's going to be hitting so hard. This choice band, Iso Crash, two hit KOs, fully defensive Corviknight. Just straight up. And since he has to run Shed Shell because I have Magnazone. There's not even a risk of him surviving two low rolls because of leftovers. It's disgusting how good this Mon's matchup is this week. If I, Basically, if I can just keep forcing this in, clicking crunches, clicking icicle crashes, he's going to lose a Mon almost every time. Which is good because I have Pokemon on my team that prevent him from getting kills in return. I've got Sucker Punch and Sacred Sword as the other moves. Sucker Punch is here for an Agility Iron Moth, in case that just so happens to come, or Booster Energy Speed, of course. And Sacred Sword helps me get through Hydreigon easier. It hits all of his Hydreigon's potential typings and destroys them. So, basically, Saberus needs to come through this week. It really needs to do the work that I know it can. Hopefully, please, just don't miss Icicle Crash. Just don't miss Icicle Crash. That's all I'm asking. Second Mon, Gatorus. Back once again. This time with its Fairy type. I switched back to Terra Fairy. That's the only move I made during the free agency period. We're running Covert Cloak this week. Because this is kind of a counter style pick. Because I know Bud likes to try to use secondary effect moves to quote unquote even the playing field a little bit. So... In my opinion, Covert Cloak Skeledurge really helps mitigate those options, like Nuzzle Palmot trying to para me or trying to get Sludge Poisons with Iron Moth. Or something along those lines, like paralyzing me with Discharge Rotom. Shuts down all those options. He can't do any of them. And since his Hazard Setters, well, his Hazard Setter is Hydreigon, I'm not all that concerned about Hazard Damage this week. Which is good because I want to stay Fairy Ghost for as long as possible in this game because it's so much better against Iron Moth than any other typing. We got Torch Song, Slack Off, Terra Blast, Fairy, and Shadow Ball. We're just three attacks with Slack Off this week. No special attack investment. We're almost max Medef, but we can take two Life Orb Waterfalls from Gyarados. 
which is really nice. Well, once I tear, of course. I definitely can't take them when I'm fire type, but I can take them as a fairy type, which is really good because Gyarados could be scary if it's a life orb set. Really just here to... Uh, this mod also basically invalidates the Lilligan. Like, it can sleep powder me, but oh no, I'll just stay in and waste the turns. We got Hatterene coming back. Iris so quiet. Leftovers again this week. This week we're running Baton Pass, Psychic, Nuzzle, Shadow Ball. Didn't see a reason to run a Fairy type move when Hydreigon's just gonna Terra to Steel anyway. And if it does so happen to Terra to Dark, then I'll just stay in on it and Nuzzle it, and that's good enough. Nuzzle is really just here to paralyze Corviknight. I this baits in Corviknight because. He's going to be running Mirror Armor to try to reflect back Mystical Fire drops, so I want to nuzzle it instead. Just to make it that much more unlikely to be able to click moves. I got Baton Pass to help me get in Skeledurge against Corviknight after it switches into me. Because then I'll go after its U-turn and I'll get momentum. Psychic hits Palmot really hard, Psychic hits Iron Moth really hard, Psychic hits Asui Lilligant really hard. It's just a good mood to click versus him in general. And then I got Shadow Ball to round it out because I want to hit Gardevoir with something. Because this is kind of a Gardevoir check. It can check the Psychic move pretty well. Chompress, once again, they're back this week with Leftovers. And a full special set, once again. Second time I've run Special Garchomp, didn't think that would happen. We got Stealth Rock, Draco, Earth Power, Fire Blast. Reason Garchomp's special this week is physical cannot do any damage to Corviknight or Terra Steel um, Hydreigon. But special can. Special can do a lot of damage to them with Fire Blast. So banking on that, plus this gives me a really good switch into Rotom Heat. Because if my Garchomp doesn't care about getting burnt, Rotom Heat really can't do any damage to me. Otherwise, and it prevents Volt Switches, which is really good. Stealth Rock is great versus Bud. He has Corviknight to defog it, but I don't really mind, because anytime Corviknight has to defog, I can get in Skeledurge, and then that just puts him on a lot of pressure. And then I have Earth Power. It could have been another move, to be honest. It's not Earth Power is not really that good against his team. He has a lot of ground immunities. But I got it just in case I need to hit Iron Moth for an Oko. You never know. It could happen. And since I resist both Iron Moth stabs, it, it's definitely a good option. Nothing else really made more sense. Earthquake was an option, but I didn't want to lower a defensive stat. So we just want Earth Power. Iris Salads coming back for Redemption, hopefully. <laughs> this is my main Gyarados check. Just so that I can keep Skeledurge from turning into a fairy type before I want to. We're running full Fizz Death with Charm. This doesn't stop Sub Gyarados, but I mean, I guess Sub Gyarados is definitely an option, right? But I don't think it's as good because if he does reveal himself to be Sub, I'm just going to bite the bullet and tear my Skeledurge because I have a backup plan for Iron Moth, as we'll see with the last Mon. And. This is really just to take the load off if it's like Life Orb Gyarados. Since it can't Terra, it can't hit me with anything other than Ice Fang, and I take two Ice Fangs. And I charm it down. I have Leech Seed because he can't switch into Leech Seed unless he brings Lilligan, which if he brings Lilligan, this also checks it really hard because I just charm it and I can't be put to sleep. Leaf Blade's the only attacking move. Doesn't really do damage. It probably could have been Baton Pass. But I need something to at least break Gyarados sub, just in case. Last Mon, Assault Vest Toxapex, back once again. And this is a really interesting Toxapex spread. I'll just show it here on the graph. I got a significant amount of attack investment, and not that much Spadef. This is mostly here just to take Hydreigon hits and hurt it back. I have enough attack to where I can break a Hydreigon sub. Well, a no-bulk Hydreigon sub. We'll see if that ends up being what he brings. I don't know for sure what he could, what he'll bring. He could be max HP, max defense for all I know. But I can kind of play around that. It would be hard to, but I could. Anyway, we got Infestation, Liquidation, Poison Jab, Chilling Water. Chilling Water helps me negate Gyarados if it wants to switch in on me once it finds out that I don't have Toxic or anything. 
I can Chilling Water on the switch in, it's at minus one, and now Leafeon really can handle it. Poison Jab helps spread status, Liquidation is just my best move to hit Iron Moth, which just also helps check in the late game if Skeletor has to Terra early. And Infestation just gives me good chip damage on basically anything, mostly Corviknight. Corviknight's probably going to want to switch in on this to Defog, so Infestation helps me get some chip on it. But yeah, that's going to be the team this week. Main goal, just spam moves with Chien Pao, get up in the game, and then hopefully preserve enough answers to Hydreigon and Iron Moth to avoid being cleaned up in the late game. How will that work out? We're going to find out soon, because we're moving over to the battle right now. Let's see what he brought. Are you bringing the heat? Oh, he's bringing the Lil again. Oh, he's bringing the Lil again. No Iron Moth, so I can I can tear on my Skeledurge. No Corviknight either, so he can't remove hazards. Well, actually, I think the Hisuian level again gets Rapid Spin, but he can't remove hazards because I have Gatorus. I really want to lead with Chompress, but I kind of feel like it might be Palmot lead. I don't know. It's going to be Rotom lead. I'm leading with Chompress. If it is Palmot lead, I'll go to Gatorus. Can't believe he actually brought the Lil again. It has to be some stupid set. It's got to be like Sleep Powder and try to hax out Skeledurge. Let me just quadruple check. Asui and Lilligant, you get Flying, Ice, Poison, and Bug. Yeah, you can't hit Skeleturge then. Best you can do is Acrobatics. So just don't Terra Skeleturge, unless I need to check Gyarados. Ah, this stadium again, man. Okay, these are Guard of War. That's not good for me. It's gonna trace my rough skin. This will be Moonblast or Trick. I really don't think he predicts the Tox effect switch in. So I'm gonna pivot through Tox effects to Iris so quiet. He might not even stay in here. He might go to Rotom. If he's not Choice Scarf, he probably isn't gonna stay in here. Because if I'm a really offensive guard chomp. I'm going to destroy him with Earthquake. I guess this could also be Hydreigon if he's really predicting Earthquake or maybe Iron Head, but I'm not taking the risk. I just know that Psychic is probably not the move he's clicking here. And Peck's getting tricked to Scar for Specs sucks, but at least it gets this thing in Assault Vest so it can't trick something else. I did not want to see the Guard of War lead, to be honest. I didn't want to see the Guard of War at all, but... Okay, he's going to withdraw. He's Scarfed. Awesome. I know that he's Choice Scarfed. What's he go to? Gera. That's not great. Considering I've got Pex out now. But I know Guard of War Scarf, which is really good. Do I want to stay in? I kind of want to stay in and just click Poison Jab, because I know I take two Earthquakes. I'll click Poison Jab, we'll find out if he's sub. Because he's got to be confused. Well, maybe not. I mean, Tox Effect switching into Gardevoir on an expected Fairy move isn't exactly difficult. Okay, he is going to sub. So he's sub Gyarados. I wonder if he's sub Taunt. We'll find out if this breaks a sub. Probably not, but I have a good amount of attack. It does break the sub. Let's go! Attack invested Tox Apex for the win. Poison Jab again. Because he's not leftovers. That might have been a high roll. <laughs> Very well could have been a high roll. He's going to withdraw. Okay, as expected. Half baked, this is Rotom. If I can get a poison on this, that would be really nice. 
Come on, big Saurus. Give me a poison. No poison. Okay. That's fine. We just go to Chompress. This is what Chompress is for. Gyarados might be Boots. Probably is Boots. But I can get my Stealth Rock up here. He's going to trick. Ooh, that's unfortunate for me. Actually, that's okay. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Flame Orb? Oh, I mean, that's okay. I'm fine with that. That's actually better than me being Scarfed, because now I can Stealth Rock, and I'm special, so I really don't care about being burnt. Yep, just set up the Stealth Rock here, because Chompers really does not care about being burnt. And if he goes to the wrong thing here, I can Draco Meteor. But just set up rocks. He didn't bring it. He, did, he only brought Lil again to remove. And this is not uh, boots, so he's taking rocks damage now. Stealth Rock up. He's gonna Shadow Ball. Thankfully, he's not Hex. Hex actually would have done decent damage there. He's gonna get a Spadef Drop, unfortunately. So Chompers has taken some decent damage. Hmm. Do I want to use Draco Meteor here? Huh. I'm gonna use Draco Meteor here. Let's get let's get the damage on this thing. If this isn't specially defensive, it's gonna take a million from this Draco. Hopefully he doesn't go to Guard of War. I'm assuming he's gonna stay in, because he got the Spadef drop, and like he thinks this is his Garchomp counter. But this Draco is gonna do a lot of damage. If he does switch into like Gyarados, that would be ideal. Okay, he's gonna let me Draco, perfect. Big damage. Good job, Chompress. And he discharged. That's fantastic. But that actually kind of looks like it might be more Spadef than Fizdef. Or maybe I just don't know my calcs for Rotom at all. Uh, let's see. I want to go to Hatterene. That Spadef drop is really annoying. I'm actually going to go to Toxapex. Yeah, I'm going Toxapex. He's not going to discharge a second time, or maybe he is, but Toxapex can regen it off. And I just need to pivot. I need to get Hatterene in on not Shadow Ball, or Garchomp back in on Discharge or Volt Switch. And I do need to save Garchomp. Well, I don't need to, because I have Chin Pao who can revenge kill the Hydreigon. And now that I know Gardevoir's Choice Scarf, I just need to get it in Sucker Punch range, which it already is in Sucker Punch range after it takes Stealth Rock. Now I'm wishing I brought Surf instead of Earth Power. Surf instead of Earth Power probably was the right play, but eh, it's, that's hindsight. Big Solaris is gonna come out. On the Shadow Ball, perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. Does zero damage. He gets another Spadef drop. <laughs> so I can't stay in. I was thinking about staying in and just clicking the move. Or the... Yeah, the move. Liquidation. I want to go to Hatterene this time. Yeah, I'm going to go to Hatterene this time. This should be Discharge. It might be Shadow Ball again. If it's Shadow Ball again, good play. No, he's going to Will-O-Wisp. Oh, I'll take that. Yeah, you're not Will-O-Wisp me. Yeah, that's really good for me. Free switch into Hat. And now I'll just click Psychic. Click Psychic. I'll click Baton Pass next turn if he wants to stay in. Hydreigon would try to switch in, but it seems like it's a it'd be a really risky play to swap Hydreigon into Hatterene. It kind of would make me think he's physical. 
with iron head or iron tail. If he swapped Hydreigon in here. But that just, that's such a psycho play. I'm not going to predict it and try to uh, nuzzle. I'll just click the Psychic button. It'll do good damage. Okay, he's going to Shadow Ball. This shouldn't do too much because I'm Spadef and it's not Stab. It does solid damage. If you Spadef drop me again, I... Okay, good. Psychic. Does a lot. He can't take another one. So I should baton pass here, right? Because if the Rotom switches out, it dies to rocks. And I don't want Hatterene out. Hmm. If I baton pass though, it's gonna be to Chin Pao. And then I lock myself into a move. What does he bring out on Hatterene? Gara or Palmont maybe? Gyarados would be a little bit scary, but I could just stay in on Gyarados because I don't think I'm dead to anything, and I could try to nuzzle it. I'll Psychic again. I'm going to be really mad if he goes to Hydreigon this time. He really shouldn't, but... I just have this weird feeling in the back of my head. Like, he's going to want to try to force Hydreigon in and Terra to steal on me. Okay, no, he's just gonna Shadow Ball again. I'm gonna pull off the Rotom. I'm gonna get crit there. Unfortunate. Getting getting hacks a little bit here, but we're we're still up we're still up. Hatterene's gonna kill the Rotom. Now I can't really stay in on the Gyarados, though. I mean I'm probably gonna have to. Uh, but I know Gardevoir Scarfed. I need to keep Hatterene. Uh, but Scarf Psychic's never going to sweep me anyway, because I have Pow. So I don't think I actually need to keep Hatterene. I can probably sack it when whatever comes in comes out. Unless it's Lil again, then that's just a free Skeledurge. Unless his master plan all along was just to put Skeledurge to sleep with Lil again. Which I guess it could be. Hmm. Knowing that Gardevoir Scarfed is a little bit annoying, but it has to click the right move every time. And since I have Tox Effects, it can never click the right move. I just have to not let Gyarados do things. Because I need to keep Skeletor's not Terra to deal with Lil again. I keep saying the same things over again, but I'm just trying to remind myself what I need to do. Okay, Zelda's going to come out now, interestingly enough. So, uh, are you going to try to trick me? What are you trying to do here? You don't kill me, right? Hatterene, where's Iris so quiet? There you are. Gardevoir, Choice Scarf. Moonblast is 40%. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, he'd need a higher roll, but he could get me with that. Shadow Ball. That's Shadow Bone. Shadow Ball is going to get me if Moonblast can. Yeah, Shadow Ball can get me. Okay, so he can kill me. But he can't kill me with Psychic, so Tox Effects. If this is Trick and I gave him the Assault Vest, I'm going to be a little bit sad. Because I need that Assault Vest. Nah, it's Shadow Ball. I knew it. Okay, I know your choice, Scarf, so I'm just going to click Poison Jab, because I know your choice, Scarfed. Yep, you have to withdraw. Sidon's going to come back out. He's going to get the Intimidate on me this time. Maybe I should I should have Chilling Watered, actually. That was the better play. Oh, but he's not Boots. That's really good. Okay, we're fine against this then. I poison jab here. Poison? No poison. Okay, go to Leafeon. This thing's low enough. I mean, it can make a sub, which is unfortunate, but Leafeon is bulky enough to where it's not going to worry about this at this point.
Then that's why we brought Leafeon anyway, so here we go. Really good that this wasn't Boots. That makes it a lot easier for me to deal with. I really hope that he lets me kill this with Leafeon and sends out the, um... What's it? The Lilligan, so I can charm it. Okay, he is gonna sub. But my Leaf Blade will break. He can't kill me with anything. So it's just Leaf Blade. And even at plus one, he can't kill me with anything. So we're good. I can just click Leaf Blade twice here. No. I'm not going to speak it into existence, but there is an out for the Gyarados here. Actually, I guess there's a couple outs. But surely the Hacks is going to balance out, right? He's not going to get more. Leafeon, I hate the stadium, man. Leafeon's paws are just in the floor. Bud's shoes are glitched into the floor. There's just, this stadium's a mess. And I keep getting it. I've gotten it so many weeks in a row. All right, he is gonna Dragon Dance. That's fine. You'd literally have to flinch me. And I brought, I brought Sucker Punch, and you can't sub anymore, so... Crit doesn't matter. The Toxapex was breaking that sub, Leafeon was breaking that sub. Alright, alright, Salad, click this Leaf Blade. Oh, he only has Waterfall anyway. Yeah, we're not, we're not taking any damage from that, baby. Iris Salad picks up a kill. Not bad for a Trash Mon. Okay, what should this be? This should be Hydreigon. I mean, Iris Salad's done, done its job. I'm clicking Leech Seed on Hydreigon if it comes out. Because Hydreigon being Dragon Dance could potentially be his way out. Because Gatorus can't handle Iron Tail, Terra Steel. So if, like I said, if that thing comes out, clicking Leech Seed. And then if it is Dragon Dance, clicking Charm the next turn. Hmm. What else could he do? I I'm wondering if it's maybe Scarf, like Double Scarf. Double Scarf makes a lot of sense versus Chin Pao. Who hasn't even gotten to hit the field yet? Come on, Saberus. <laughs> My fault. I gotta be forcing it in more. Okay. What is this? Okay. Good. I'll feel. I'll figure out what this is now. It's not boots. That's for sure. Let's go leech seed. It shouldn't be able to kill me unless it's like choice specs. Oh, sub would be bad here. I shouldn't have leech seeded. Sub is really bad here. Yeah, that was a really bad play. Oh, please don't sub. That would be horrendous if you subbed. I'm actually in a lot of trouble if he subbed here. Please just go for Draco. Okay, he's gonna Terra. Oh no, please don't sub. Why didn't I think of that? I was worried about sub the whole prep, and now I just don't think about it when he comes out. No sub, please. Okay, perfect. He's Dragon Dance. That's perfect. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. That is exactly what I wanted to see. I hit the Leech Seed, and now I Charm. Because I'm full physically defensive. He's not going to kill me. With any, like, he'd have to click Outrage here. And if he clicks Outrage here, then I go to Hatterene and I nuzzle it. But also good to know that this is not Scarfed. Alright, just Charm. Please try to Dragon Dance again. That'd be perfect. Don't sub. I mean, sub at this point isn't the worst. Because I know it's physical. And it's Steel, so I just have to win the 50-50 with the Skeleturge Terra. Okay, he does Dragon Dance again. Perfect. 
I brought your boy Charm, though. Get him, Iris Salad. Beautiful. You're not doing any damage. Unless he was just Dragon Dancing for the speed, which I guess could be the case. I'd be really sad if that's the case, though. Leaf Blade here. Okay, he was Dragon Dancing just for the speed, but that's not going to kill me. All right, good job, Iris Salad. Really good job. Now I go to Pex. Because Pex is AV, Pex is going to eat anything this wants to dish out. Yep, big stall risk, come on out. Really good job, Iris Salad, proud of you. All right, big stall risk. Get on out here and stall this thing out for me, will you? Literally nothing, man. Oh, man. Assault Vest Toxapex is so fun. All right, let's Infestation here, actually, in case of the switch out. He probably won't. Nah, he's going to Earthquake. But I'm, I'm physically defensive invested, too, so that's not going to kill. Let's go, big Stalrus. I don't know whose kill this is going to be. Okay, Leech Seeds first. This is a kill for Big Stalrus then. Nice. Toxapex kill. Oh, I hate that. Oh, why does it sound like that? Oh, man. That's an awful move. Game Freak. What the hell? All right, we're looking really good now. All he's got left, really, is Scarf Gardevoir. This is going to be Palmot. But I know what to do for this. This is Gatorus. This is Gatorus' job. I got the blood, or not Blunder Policy. <laughs> that was a few weeks ago. We got the Covert Cloak, so no para hacks or shenanigans can happen here. Thunder Punch isn't going to do anything. It does solid damage, actually. Uh, let's just slack off here. He's probably going to spam it, trying for para or crit. But he can't para me, so... And that's not choice banded. So there's no point in predicting. Let's just slack off again. And slack off one more time. You can't para me, bud. I prepped for this. <laughs> I specifically prepped for no paras. Alright, let's go ahead and... Torch Song. Don't Terra. Don't Terra. Let's get one. Does so much damage, dude. I'm no special attack. I mean, it's a Palmont, but... Alright, just don't crit me. No crit. Nice. That was even a lower roll, I think. I just slack off a couple more times. Lilligan's never going to do any damage to me. And Gardevoir is not going to be able to get through me either. So Gatorus might pick up the last three here. And Chen Pao might not even hit the field, which will be so sad because this was one of its better matchups. Play it out. Play it safe. I can just go Torch Song here, though. Yeah, I'll just Torch Song here. Lilligan can't kill me with anything. And I'll just swap out on Gardevoir, I guess. I just don't want to stall for 7 billion turns. Not when I'm also in a situation where Chien Pao wins. Which is a couple sacks and making sure Lilligan doesn't get the set up. This has to be Gardevoir. Excuse me. And it's going to trace my unaware, which is funny. But just go to Big Sol Risk, because it's not going to be a psychic move. And then I mash the poison jab button. Nope, not not psychic move. Can't afford to click psychic move with pow around. He crits, he crits me, but it doesn't matter. Poison jab. 
Poison Jab the Lilligant that comes in. Nah, he's gonna sack it. Figured. <laughs> Big Stalrus is gonna kill Gardevoir two times in one season. Ooh, I don't quite get it. Should I go to POW? I should actually go to POW. Just to be a leg up on the Lilligant. Yeah, let's go to POW. Let's be a leg up on the Lilligant. It, that way it has to reveal of its choice scarf. I will just crash twice. I know you're scarfed, you're gonna outspeed me, but you're not gonna kill me with two Shadow Balls. Yeah, it doesn't do enough. Alright, Icicle Crash. And... Lilligant now has to be Choice Scarf to even do anything against me. And if it's Choice Scarf, well, I got Saberus. So at worst, this is a 5-0, which I'll take. I don't really play for score, but yeah, I'll take it. Oh, that model looks pretty cute. And it's going to die now. Unless he's Choice Scarf, like I said. He's not, though. GG's, bud. It was a good try with the with the Dragon Dance sets. They were definitely scary in prep, but that's why I prepped for him, you know? That's why we brought the Leafy on.